The Washington Monument is dedicated, and we arrest a spy all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is February 21st, 2024. It is the 52nd day of the year. There are 314 days left in 2024. It is the 8th Wednesday in the 8th week and the 63rd day of winter. You got 27 days left until spring. Today is National Sticky Bun Day. You know that sticky bun of sweetness, nutty, oozing with caramel thing that you have with your coffee? Yeah, it gets its own day. All right, let's see what else February 21st has given us. 1842, John Greenow is granted the first U.S. patent for the sewing machine. Wow, took him that long to come up with that? 1842? It was all done by hand before? 1885, the newly completed Washington Monument is dedicated. The Washington Monument, that towering in bliss at the heart of Washington, D.C., is like the ultimate photo op and high five to America's first president, George Washington. Standing tall at over 555 feet, it's not just a staggering piece of masonry, it's a shout out to the legacy of the guy who helped kickstart the United States. You can spot it from miles away, sticking out like a giant historical thumbtack, making the spot where American history got serious. And the best part, you can ride an elevator all the way to the top of it for some killer views of the city. It's actually pretty interesting. Myself, I've only seen pictures. The one time I did go to see it, this is many years ago. We're talking like the mid 80s. There was a hostage situation on the grounds. I don't know what went on, but a lot of police activity. Nobody could go on. It sucked. But if you do get a chance to go up there, you could scratch it off your historical bingo card. It's like playing a game. And if you win, the prize is... The best view of Washington, D.C. you can get. The Washington Monument also has some pretty cool history, like how construction hit pause for almost two decades because of funding and the Civil War. It's a bit of a drama thing for the world of architecture. Eventually, the Washington Monument was completed in 1884, making it the world's tallest structure at the time. Today, it stands as a symbol of national pride and a reminder of George Washington's enduring legacy. So whether you're into history, architecture, or just looking for the perfect selfie spot, the Washington Monument has a little something for everyone. And almost a year after its completion, it was dedicated on this day in 1885. 1925, The New Yorker publishes its first issue. That magazine is 98 years old. They publish 47 issues a year. 1947, in New York City, Edwin Land demonstrates the first instant camera, the Polaroid Land Camera, at a meeting of the Optical Society of America. Yes, it wasn't called a land camera because it was on the land. That was the dude's last name. 1958, the CND symbol, aka peace symbol, commissioned by the Direct Action Committee in protest against the Atomic Weapons Research Establishment, is designed and completed by Gerald Holtham. Yes, the peace sign was actually invented for a cause it's not something they just picked up someplace else. 1975, the Watergate scandal. Former United States Attorney General John N. Mitchell and former White House aides H.R. Haldeman and John Ehrlichman are sentenced to prison for the Watergate scandal. 1994, Aldrich Ames is arrested by the FBI for selling national secrets to the Soviet Union in Arlington County, Virginia. He was doing, I guess, an okay job, but not enough to get him enough promotions. And they say that's when he sort of got a bad taste in his mouth for working for the United States government and had been considering leaving the CIA. He was also a heavy drinker at this point and was going through a divorce. And he was about to be bankrupt. The way he got caught, he was giving him details of who the FBI was looking at and the CIA was looking at, which were, you know, Russian agents. And these Russian agents would, you know, let's say they were in Colombia or something like that. All of a sudden they'd leave and go back to Russia. And this was happening at an alarming rate. People that the CIA and the FBI had already targeted were just going back to Russia. So they figured they had a mole and eventually they tracked it down to him. He's in prison for the rest of his life in Terre Haute, Indiana. Premiered on February 21st, 2020, hunters, a diverse group of Nazi hunters based in New York City, discover that Nazi war criminals are conspiring to create a Fourth Reich. The show was created by David Whale and executive producer Jordan Peele. It stars Al Pacino, Josh Radner, Dylan Baker, and Carol Kane. A whole bunch of other people, too. I've watched a couple episodes. It's pretty good. Uh, it was a little slow, but it's pretty good. They've got two seasons done already, and I think they're working on season three. 
Born on February 21st, 1996, Sophie Turner, actress who made her television breakthrough as Sansa Stark on HBO's Game of Thrones. She also played the role of Heather in the 2014 film Barely Lethal. She was in 2018's Time Freak. Just recently, I saw a movie with her called Survive, where there's a plane crash and only her and this guy are the remaining survivors on a mountain and they got to get down the mountain. It was pretty good. She is married to one of the Jonas Brothers, Joe Jonas. They got married in 2019. 2020, they had their first daughter. And in 2022, they welcomed their second child. And in 2023, they announced their divorce. I think she's a pretty good actress. Died on February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X, iconic Muslim minister, leader of the Nation of Islam, and human rights activist who spoke out against white supremacy and the disenfranchisement of African Americans. His autobiography, which was published shortly after his assassination in 1965, is considered one of the most important nonfiction books of the 20th century. He was given a speech in 1965, and two guys went up in front of everyone and just shot him while on stage. Now, he wasn't always a minister. Actually, he spent some time in prison. And he was pretty much a, I wouldn't say scumbag, but he was a criminal. And while in prison, he got religion. Spike Lee did the movie Malcolm X. Denzel Washington played Malcolm X, and that was a pretty good movie. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, be nice to each other.